Irish pubs with live music and platters of freshly caught seafood. And breathtaking scenery, all reasons why Galway was chosen as a European capital of culture. The university town on Ireland's west coast attracts young people from around the world. It's just so different. I mean, nowhere, nowhere really in the States except for Irish pubs. I mean, that's the only time we hear music like this. Everything is kind of medieval, stone. It's the harbour and the sea is beautiful as well. Everybody's so nice and the beer is amazing as well. <laughs> yeah, fröhlich, lebendig, quirlig, irgendwie. Yeah. Anders als in Deutschland auf jeden Fall. <laughs> Menschen sind um, aufgeschlossen und lachen viel mehr. Yeah. Yeah. A week before the city's year as European capital of culture officially began, County Galway rang it in, with musicians and fire jugglers touring seven of the surrounding towns with their acts. Every day they came one town closer to Galway. This is just the opening, so we've got 195 events to go until next February. We've got a triennial cello festival that's starting, environmental projects happening out in the mountains. Uh, this explorations of the Irish language, there's such a lot to see. As creative director, Helen Marriage is in charge of the upcoming programme of cultural events, a challenge she willingly took on for Galway. Galway's really an incredible place, amazing people, extraordinary landscape and ferocious weather. It's a bit like Barcelona in the rain. Galway lies exposed to the full fury of the Atlantic, giving it an average 220 days of rain per year and heavy storms. But the ocean and the rugged terrain also provide a bounty of treasures. Michelin star chef JP McMahon braves the elements as he gathers ingredients, eelgrass and other sea herbs. One of my favourites, even though it's a little bit sandy, is sea lettuce. And it's like you can see it on the rocks. It's a green seaweed, um, really beautiful, uh, eaten fresh. And we would dress our, our oysters with it. Oysters are readily available in Galway. Almost every restaurant has them on their menu. JP McMahon makes an especially tempting oyster dish. The, the, the oyster has been around Galway for like thousands of years. Um, and I think it's probably only in, in recent years that we have become to appreciate it more. I think always people traveled to Galway to taste the oyster. The Irish Gaelic name for Galway is Golov, from Stony River, which is the river Corrib that runs through its centre. Galway has been enjoying an economic boom since the 1990s. The old centre, with its pubs, vibrant art scene, as well as Galway's two universities, attract people the world over. The mix adds up to Galway's special charm for Hans Walter Schmidt Hanisa. He has lived here for 15 years. Galway is among the bigger Irish cities, the nicest one, the most, most scenic one. So it, this attracts a lot of younger people. The university uh, has now more than 15,000 students and the total population is about 80,000. So um, that gives you an idea. Um, and it's a city with a uh, thriving youth culture, a party town really. And this is precisely the feeling the long-planned official opening for its year as culture capital was supposed to put across. But weather didn't permit. The big party was cancelled for safety reasons. But nothing rains for long on Galway's parade. The celebrations just took place in the pubs, with traditional Irish music, of course. 